drivers behind their lines. Three, two, one, crescendo. One shot in for red, two shots in for red. Boston Lions picking up a another. Neshoba already had scored their second. Here comes the Boston Lions third. Neshoba barely missing their third as 177 puts out another note into the Blue Alliance speaker. Looks like the Blue Alliance comes out ahead on this one, but only by five points. Very, very close match still to be played. Bobcats starting by scoring in the amp. Their partners and captains, Buzz Robotics, looking to do the same. Amplification ready for Blue. Now this next cycle will mean more points. Bobcats line up, they fire, but barely miss, holding on to that amplification until they score. Meanwhile, on the other side, Neshoba scoring in the unamplified speaker, getting two points. They're gonna pop back in and get another, bringing it up to four for them in those two cycles. Their partners, Barlow, barely missing out on that amp while the Blue Alliance amplifies. That's one shot in by Buzz. Bobcats likely taking one earlier. They're starting to steal now. These human players have to pay attention. When you drop your notes from the source, it's a dangerous spot for your opponent to be, but if there's nothing going on there, that's fair game, and the Bobcats, they take advantage, now bringing a note to the amp instead. On red side, we see the Boston Lions trying to sneak by the Gongoliers, but this Rhode Island team has been fierce throughout the entire competition and will not let them by. Finally, Boston Lions managed to sneak around the other side of their stage, but now it's the Gongoliers on Barlow playing defense. Buzz going over to the Blue Alliance source. Looks like they're going to be able to pick up a note and bring it back over. Bobcats now preparing the amp. We might see an amplified speaker here for Blue, but it looks like they'll just hold off for now. No, they've activated it a little late as 177 is coming across the field. Can they score? Barely missing on that amplified speaker. Blue still maintaining a lead of around 10 points. Can they hold it throughout this end game period? Looks like the Bobcats will sneak by through the Red Alliance stage with a note, fire that into the speaker. Buzz trying to do the same, but barely missing. Now we got a climb from the Boston Lions. They don't have a note for the trap, but they are up for three points with three seconds left. Bobcats get in one last buzzer beater shot. Victory 67 to 54. They managed to make the upset happen. But where do those points come in? It's clear the Blue Alliance has just scored 14 more speaker points and with the offsetting penalties, that's just taking them 